welcome to Tesco Project Fame Season 6. I'm your host, Joy Muthengi, here at Studio Tesco. Well, we are into our fourth week at the Academy of Tesco Project Fame Season 6, and so far, 11 contestants have managed to survive the week, according to Judge Hermes Bariki. Take a look at what some of the contestants had to say about their performances on Sunday. Right, how do you feel about yesterday's performances, yesterday's, yesterday's show? Embura? Everyone was hot. Everyone did good. Yeah. I loved every single performance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're going to watch. We're going to discuss. I want to comment. We're going to discuss vocal stuff, of course, and then some performance stuff. Are we looking at the cameras? Are we using the mic properly? Those sort of things are the things we're looking for. Right. So we're going to go listen through the, re the performances. We're going to just go alphabetically. I hear the alphabet order. <laughs> I guess we, we, we enjoyed ourselves, we had fun, mm. but I just felt that we, we pushed too much. Yeah. <coughs> what you push think? Too much. I did push too much. Yeah. Um, so I actually felt as if it was cracking, mm. especially mm. the ad libs um, mm. at the end of the song. Mm. But we didn't like really lose a lot of control. Mm. Mm -hmm. We tried to keep it in that. Mm. Yeah, but it was a little painful. After it was painful, music. huh? Yeah. Mm. Somebody else? I was worried when they gave them a reggae song, but they uh, they did a great job. It just in the beginning, uh, I don't know, it's just almost someone was pity a little bit. Mm. Yeah. For me, it was very borderline. In terms of performances, I don't think this was the best one yet. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, of emotional connection with the song, with us as an audience, especially with us as Kenyans, 150. Performance-wise, I'm gonna go with like 85, 90. For me, vocally, a lot less. Less, less. No, 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 no. Yeah, sing, sing, sing. You have both beautiful voices. You don't have to fill it with ad libs and stuff like that, huh? Okay, but good job. Kojo. like a mosquito. Okay, now you can comment. Actually, that that uh, it wasn't my <coughs> best performance. Um, I forgot uh, the things that I did in practice. That's the problem I have. And, um, and in the beginning, um, I did a lot of mistakes. So. Somebody want to say something? Help Kojo? Yes, Bjorn. Before he went for the performance, I told him, don't, don't worry so much about the lyrics, because if you stress yourself about the lyrics so much, you're going to forget them. Yes. Just uh, stay cool on the stage, and then you're going to remember everything just automatically. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did, and it came out. Even though he didn't, he didn't do uh, the dances he was supposed to do at the, the practice, but the lyrics, it was, <laughs> he did it. Yeah, yeah, and I could hear everything he said. So the diction was very good. But you've got to relax, you've got to relax, you've got to relax, Kojo. Because you're, as a result of being so tense, we're losing that, that flair, that extra flair that this song had when you were at rehearsal. Okay, Kojo. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Nyambura, yes. I will not lie, I had fun. <laughs> fun. Like, like I'm used to ballads and that soft side. Right. People didn't get to know me, who I am. Right. But with this song, my character is that one. That is you. That is me. Mm. And I am so happy I brought it out. Yes. And we are thinking I'm excited to be on probation. Yes. Yes. I enjoyed myself, actually. I was relaxed. I didn't feel anything bad about that performance. Mm. Very nice. Yes, Fess. Um, on, on, week, on weekdays, she's normally ordinary, you know. Yes. But uh, on, on Saturday and Sunday, she transforms into something else. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I was so happy. When she 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 was high on stage, eh? yes. she did that move which was clearly from Mary. You know? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I was so happy. I I, I felt like laughing to tears. Yes. Like, uh, you know, she's normally crazy. This is crazy. So yeah, I, that's I what you need. Yeah. How you perform is an extension of your personality. Yeah. So you need to bring that personality to stage. So if you are a heckler, that's what we want to see. When Fess used the word, and we use it all the time now, about fessifying, how do I take that song and make it me? Because if it's so different from who you are, you'll be uncomfortable, okay? If your personality is very cheeky, very, that person must always come out in how you perform, okay? So always try and, and isify your song, yeah? And I think you nyamburified it very well, yeah? After the break, Principal Eric Wainaina picks up the pieces of two weeks of double evictions and the contestants meet their first ever lady music director on Tusker Project fame. But first, here's what some of them have had to say about their stay at the academy so far. Gojo, mm. what's your favorite class in the academy? Uh, my favorite class uh, is uh, for Madame, Madame Kavuta. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My favorite class is uh, with Eric Wainaina. Uh, because with Eric Wainaina, first we have fun. And Eric Wanaina knows music. He's a musician, he's a singer, he can play keyboard, you know. And uh, with him, uh, he, uh, he knows how to direct, okay. What happens when the cameras go off? Well, um, not, okay. Stuff happens, like just chilling, just eating. Some of us eat more than we eat on camera. Kind of feel like, you know, it's all a happy family and you're all just, just, you know, trying to get ourselves up together and everything. So I don't feel like there's any rivalry yet. So, no, I don't have any rivals. Whom do you miss in, in this academy? I miss Angel, man, because she was a Tanzanian, mm -hmm. and we were very close. Hello, East Africa, it's your boy, Bjord. You know how I do it. Don't listen to him, man. You know, I can do, I can, I can dance, I can sing and rap. If I couldn't sing, I wouldn't be here. So don't, don't forget my number is number, Tusker 3. Tusker 3, don't forget that. And uh, don't give up on me, I still got you. I can still rock you. Hello, East Africa, this is Patrick from Rwanda. I would like, I would like you to vote for me. This is my number, Tusker 9. That's kind of nice. I believe in myself. I believe I'm talented. Please don't let me down. But it's Saru, East Africa. It's your girl, Nyambura. Yes, vote for your Nyambura. Task 10. Task 10 is my number. Price of two tomatoes. Just two tomatoes. It doesn't cost much. Just two tomatoes. Task 10. Task 10. Hey, East Africa, it's your girl, Sitenda, from Uganda. So I see you guys checking me out and know what you're thinking about. My number is Tasca 11. Vote for me, Tasca 11, and I'll be here checking you out as well. See you soon. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Now, Principal Eric always has good advice and words of encouragement for the contestants. So here's some of his comments on their performances. It was great every time. Um, well done, man. Well done. It's a hard song to do, and you did a fantastic job. You got us all in your sort of in your halo, and you were doing your thing. Well done. That song is, has been sung by one of Kenya's best songbirds, Atemi Oyungu, and you and I mean you made it your own, and uh, it was a, it was fantastic, Yambura. 
All I want to say is, Ian, what does that mean? It's, it's, it the audience, the loved, audience it. loved it. They did a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job. They, they took this song that exists and they applied it to Kenya's situation and they've got fantastic voices. They're wonderful showmen. What more could we need? This is one of my favorite songs. Honestly, I know I've said that for just about every song, but honestly, I love this and I love the way you did the, the performance. It was fantastic. Thank you. And this is Eric after this weekend's double eviction and Sunday's very live show when the decision to put four people on probation was not an easy task. It's bittersweet, it's bittersweet. Let's try that three and... When I think about you I don't think it's like a very well-known song. It's not, it's not a halo yeah. or uh, something like that. And so if, I think if you change anything up, no one would really know. You work for Sunday. You go, you kill this song, right? You get saved by some combination of, of saving graces. And then on Sunday, you play. OK. I don't think you ought to be on probation. Um, what do you think went wrong? I think I oversang a little bit. I was. I just, I pushed too much. Just sing it. Like that? Yeah. You can't say I don't love you Just because I cheat on you Cause you can't see all I do To keep you from knowing the things I do Like I raise my phone and keep it out of town I keep ripped up when I sleep around But I should know one day you find out You can't go on living now that I love you First chorus, you sing it verbatim, meaning that you and the choir are pretty much boom together. Right? Mm. And then from verse two, you begin to sort of take some liberties, and then in chorus two, mm. they call, you respond. Cool. Good job yesterday. Why do you think they put you on probation? Maybe for bad ad libs. I don't know. I'm thinking from here on out, we don't give you simple songs. I think that like the reggae song might have been too easy. I, I really wanted to change the song. Like, I even went to Kabusa and told her, hey, this one. Mm. What key is your song in? It was on uh, D. Oh, no, don't let me cheat on my boyfriend, no. Let's go for that first. It's unfair, can't deny, but me can't dare to me. That's where I talk. Because like, ah, it okay. is really rude. Singing yeah, it yeah. is really, 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 really. Yeah. What if you had to sing it? If I have to sing it, I'll, I'll have to, like, practice. That line a lot. It's unfair, I can't deny. But we can't dare to think about my baby with another girl. It's unfair, I can't deny. But we can't dare to think about my baby and another girl. So now we nail that, mm. those ad libs, and just boom, 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 boom. This is how we're doing it on Saturday. That bell means that it's the end of our session. Okay. Hello East Africa, it's your boy Bjord. You know how I do it. Don't listen to him, man. You know I can do I can I can dance, I can sing and rap. If I couldn't sing, I wouldn't be here. So don't don't forget my number is number Tuska 3. Tuska 3, don't forget that. And uh, don't give up on me, I still got you. I can still rock you. I'll never be something I'm not. Please don't throw Hello East Africa, this is Patrick from Rwanda. I would like I would like you to vote for me. This is my number, Tuska 9. That's kind of nice. I believe in myself. I believe I'm talented. Please don't let me down. But it's Saru, East Africa. It's your girl, Nyambura. Yes, vote for your Nyambura. Tasca 10. Tasca 10 is my number. Price of two tomatoes. Just two tomatoes. It doesn't cost much. Just two tomatoes. Tasca 10. Tasca 10. Hey, it's Africa. It's your girl, Sitenda, from Uganda. So I see you guys checking me out. I know what you're thinking about. My number is Tasca11. Vote for me, Tasca11, and I'll be here checking you out as well. See you soon.
Welcome back to Tesco Project Fame Season 6. Now take a look at our very first lady music director ever on Tesco Project Fame. Mudoni, the drummer queen, takes the stage this week. How's it everybody? How you guys doing? It is my honor and privilege to introduce the MD for this week, numerous accolades. She is a singer, a songwriter, a producer, an entrepreneur. Uh, she's going to be one of your future bosses when you play at her festivals. Can I please welcome Mudhoni DQ, the drama queen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. We're going to spend a lot of time sort of choosing the songs that we're going to be uh, playing this weekend. Right? So, uh, she and I and, uh, and Aaron and Kavuda and the director and Edu went through the list yesterday. Um, and so she's got a heck of a list for you guys, right? There's no setup here. I'm not interested. I really don't believe in the philosophy of like, you need to give a singer a hard song so we see if they can do it. I'm like, forget that kind of mentality. You're not on trial. You're capable of what you're capable and we're going to work within that. If the song that can make you sound the hottest is Baba Black Sheep, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to swag you out. You're going to look hot. You're going to be correct. I'm going to rehearse to death with you guys. And I'll even cut and raise for you guys on that Sunday. So that oh. it's already warm. Nobody has to think about being the first act. I'm going to go in there and I'll get those guys tanned up. Like they'll just be ready for a show. That's all I want you to do this week. For those of you guys who are on probation, get that. Like put that in a can at the back of your mind. Forget that. You have no control over the probation situation. It is what it is. Everything happens according to plan. So don't even worry about that, please. So we will start with Bior. This week you're singing Davido's song, Gobe. Okay? Okay, Amos and Ross. And you guys switch up things. Kidogo, Kidogo, right? Yeah. So we're going to do Oleku by Ice Prince. Kodro, I really love the way you sang. I really heard you and I really love the song that you sang yesterday. Okay? So now everybody knows you're a singer, okay? Now can people know that you're fun? Can you, can you serenade all the house helps of East Africa? Can you make some girl <laughs> fall in love with you this weekend? That's what I want us to achieve with that song. And so you're going to be doing Valu Valu by Chameleon, okay? Uh, Hisia, you get to be debunched this week, okay? You need to be Oliver Twist. I'm thinking that we need to twist one verse into some Kiswahili. I want to test these writing skills I hear about, because I want us to bring Bongo into the story. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Nyambura, oh my God. So this week, I need, you to be, um, I need you to be radio and weasel, and you're going to do magnetic, right? So, okay, Patrick, corner by Mafikizolo. You have the best voice to sing the guy's verse and also to sing Uhuru's verse. Yes? Cool. Um, Sitenda, right? It's called Africa Massive by Fena. That song is such a big tune. All the house DJs in Africa are playing that song, so you can't fail. Do you hear me? So this week I need your focus so we can kill it. Okay, Miss Fiona, I want you to sing something in French. So I've given you a song by Strome. Right? Papa Utai, okay? Hope, hope. You're also one of the very few we went out of the African continent for. And I'm giving you a rhythm by Busy Signal, okay? Hope, what do you have? What's your song? Mm, one more night. One more night. <laughs> then Miss Daisy. We also went to Jamaica for you. So for you, I gave you a lane without you. So you can just play. Vocally, you're 100% within the range. So you play. 
this week you guys were playing games on the stage it's like we're playing games and i feel like to me really you're not contestants to me you're just musicians this week and i'm helping you sing this song there's no competition that exists in my mind this week. We just need a hot gig, as in, that's what we're doing. We're throwing Nairobi a hot gig. So, wase wame tokeleze a show, please, let's give them a show, right? That's it for today's show. I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time. But remember, you have to vote for your favorite contestants. You can log online at tusker.mobi and vote for free. Hashtag TPF6 on Twitter. And if you're on Facebook, do like us at Tuskalaga. Remember, if you want to watch any of the performances again, our official YouTube channel is Tusker Project Fame 6. Even if I don't win, I have my mindset on what I'm going to do out there. I already know what I'm going to do. It's good to have money and wisdom at the same time. Wisdom is all that matters, yeah. I miss my mom and my musical mom, yeah. The two moms, eh? I miss them so much, of course. Ah, what I miss back home, man. I miss everybody, man. I miss my church, I miss my pastors, <laughs> I miss my mother, yeah. I miss my brothers, ah, oh, man. I miss everybody, I think. There's, there's nobody in particular. I, th I know he has people in specifically. <laughs> he misses. <laughs> but I think I, just, I, mean, I, miss, I miss everybody out there because in here we never get to do much. Yeah. So who do you the miss? The person man? I miss the most is. Drum roll. Just say it. Just say it. <laughs> it's my girl. Yeah. Oh, oh man. I was so happy to see you, Zandi. Yeah. Yeah. It was really exciting.